and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Who's there, Mr. President? Oh, hello, Mr. President. Glad to see you. Glad to hear you. How are you there? I'm Look, really. Uh, I'm doing I'm well, really, and I hope you okay, are as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your, for taking the time for me. I'm very grateful to you because you are a very very wise person. Uh, former um, former president of Ukraine, Yushchenko, told me a lot about you. How you helped our country. I yeah, you, you didn't want to take Russia into NATO, did you? No. I wanted them on the fringe of NATO. I wanted Ukraine into NATO. Mm -hmm. No, I mean... You know, I, thought for, I thought for a while we'd yeah. be, uh, Russia would be uh, more cooperative. And then Putin changed dramatically. I think what he wanted to do was sit on the fringe of NATO to make sure NATO was not offensive, but defensive. Mm-hmm. No, but you always wanted to uh, take Ukraine into NATO, not Russia, but Ukraine, always, as I remember. That's right. You see, I, f I felt Ukraine needed to be in the EU and in NATO. No, um, the, the, you know that the narrative, uh, then in the early 90s, Secretary of State Baker promised Gorbachev not to spread, not to expand NATO. But this would be completely wrong, especially with the threats that Russia poses now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Listen, times change. Uh, Baker was, uh, you know, he was the Secretary of State for my dad, uh, which mm -hmm. was years ago. And so, uh, and the United States must be flexible, uh, adjusting to the times. And mm -hmm. that's why you're finding such strong support for your country now. No, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter what Baker really uh, promised Gorbachev in past. We have to see what is going on now. That's right. You know, I mean, in fact, now it's a war not only of Ukraine. It's a war of West world against Russians. Yeah. Of course, Russia was offended that uh, NATO began to expand. That's a problem for them. That's why they started. And I'm talking about determination of DPR and LPR at uh, regions of uh, occupied regions by Russia on east side. So he, uh, Putin tries to show that there's the same uh, example like with Kosovo. You remember then uh, yeah. in 2007 you recognized Kosovo as an independent right. country and he used the same methodic. Right, right. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think if you prevail, or when you prevail, uh, a lot of these other issues go off the table. Mm -hmm. uh, your mission is to destroy as many Russian troops as you can. And the question is, will you continue to receive the help you need? And I certainly hope so. And it's very important for the United States to continue in the mm -hmm. lead of providing you the, the, uh, the, the support you need. You've got good, it seems to me, you've got good communications with the administration. Mm -hmm. You know, your Secretary of Defense and people like that are continually informing our military mm -hmm. of what's needed. And our military is very supportive of what you're doing, President. Mm -hmm. Oh, you support us with javelins and many other missiles. So it's great. But last time uh, the U.S. has sent us Angelina Jolie. <laughs> it's a kind of joke. <laughs> you know, Mr. President, I think that you, uh, I, I don't know how to turn Russians against Putin. I know that you have many NGOs. Uh, many NGOs have done a great job to arrange orange revolutions in uh, post-Soviet countries for so many years. Uh, so they helped a lot. So... How we can uh, how we can work in uh, in Russia now to make them to make people uh, to start understand things how to change the system inside Russia with uh, with NGOs. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, uh, you know, the information war is very important, and uh, you know we've got experts on our staff, 
And uh, obviously they're having to wire around Russian blackouts. The story with Colin Powell's uh, test tube at the UN, he uses uh, it like a propaganda now. Or it was big plan to bring uh, the, the democracy to Iraq. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, you know, you're living in the past too much, brother. <laughs> I because I I love I love history because I love to get good advice not to make mistakes in uh, in present. I wanted to apologize for your uh, boy Sakashvili, Michael. I had to quick him out. I got tired of him. He was my advisor in in Ukraine. He was constantly uh, tr using drugs in our administration and wanted uh, a lot to mo of money. Yeah, I know. Look, he, uh, you know, <laughs> he's a rambunctious uh, boy at heart. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, he, uh, yeah, we had a problem with him in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, Putin laid a trap mm -hmm. and he fell into it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, and he kind of panicked mm -hmm. during that period of time. You should have asked me whether or not he should have been inside your government. I would have given you advice. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I hadn't talked to Shaka Zvili since 2008. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but he also failed joining uh, to NATO. That is his big fault. Yeah, well... If Shakazvili was uh, true to his roots, he'd still be in Georgia, mm -hmm. not running around Ukraine and other places. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, it, it frustrated me. He got elected. He did a good job for a while. There was pushback to his administration. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would have thought he would have stayed and fought for Georgian democracy. Mm -hmm. But instead, he immediately goes to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Bad boy. <laughs> Is he still in Ukraine? Let me ask you this. Is he still in Ukraine? Yes, he has a citizenship. I gave him it back. But it's like an anecdote, like a funny story. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you this. Does he have a uniform on or is he fighting the Russians? Mm -hmm. Is he fighting the Russians? You gave him citizenship. He ought to be fighting the Russians. Ah, yeah. You know... Uh, we were able to pre um, I also would like to thank you we were able to preserve uh, your uh, legacy in Ukraine for example those uh, bio laboratories that United States has uh, donated on the territory of our country uh, it's a program of Pentagon you remember it's uh, on the yeah. post-Soviet uh, territory uh, that Pentagon has uh, donated many bio laboratories and we managed to evacuate them to a safe place now. So the Russians, okay. so Russians did not get anything from that laboratories. Good. Yeah, you're smart. Yesterday, I met with our heroes, heroes of Ukraine. They, uh, they were fighting on the information front, and then they were um, mobilized into, uh, recruited into uh, Ukrainian army. They are pilots like you, and they hit many Russian planes. I tried to award them, but they said no. Let, they said, let us please talk to the President Bush. I told that I will have conversation with you. And they say, we are his fans, what he really did in uh, his presidency. Uh, and they are my great friends. Maybe... They will lead Ukrainian future. Such a guys, such a young guys, who is really fighting for democracy. Uh, they dreamed of talking to you, and <laughs> yeah, if if you don't mind, I will put them on the line, and they will talk to you many good things if you don't really mind. And you? I don't mind. Okay, let me connect them. If you let me, if you let, will say to my friends. Uh, Slava Vavan and Lexus, tell, tell please. Slava Vavan and yeah. Lexus, it's our heroes. Slava Vavan and Lexus. Okay, Slava Vavan and Lexus. Bring them on. I will put them on the line. Vavan and Lexus. Yeah. Just a moment, please. I will put them. Okay. Okay, just a moment.
Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. President. Hi, Dutch. How are we doing? We are fighting for our independence. Well, I'm very proud of you. We are and also I pilots like you. There you go. There you go, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like you, even. Where is the truth? Where is the power? Yeah. In, in, in the money. Yeah, no. That's right. So the brother is saying that it's not in the money. Я считаю, что сила в правде. Кого правда, тот и сильнее. Вот ты обманул кого-то, денег нажил. И что? Are you, are you, are, do you think I can understand you? Because I can't. No, no, no. Just feel, feel like with your heart. Feel the okay, force. I feel, like, you, I, feel, I feel, feel the passion. I feel the passion. Потому что правды за тобой нет. But not only that, I see, I see the passion on TV every day. I no, see the just, feel, just feel what we are trying to express. No, I can feel it, but more importantly, I see it when uh, you resist Russia. And yeah, you of course. fight the Russians. And here's my, here's my suggestion. <laughs> Keep fighting. I will fight. We will fight. Anyway. Don't let up. Well, the truth with you. Truth with us. Yes, it is you and Zelensky. I told Thank Zelensky. You. I told Zelensky he's like Winston Churchill, and uh, yeah, he is our president. Yeah, he's great, and and he's like Monica Lewinsky also. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you. great talking to you. God bless okay, you. Okay, we will Fight put on. you. We we will put you on uh, President Zelensky again. Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, for good talking to you. Thank you. Slava Rasiyev.